Hello everybody, we're back, but today I'm doing a cosplay makeup transformation. I'm transforming myself into a steampunk pumpkin queen. I started out by putting on a red contact lens in my left eye, and then I'm adding my primer onto my face because there is going to be a lot of makeup involved. Then I grabbed my black liner to start drawing a zigzag line on the right side of my face, which is going to be the beauty side of this makeup when then I started adding some foundation just a little bit on that inner side that I left and I added some powder to go ahead and give it just a regular makeup look afterwards I'm adding some orange eyeshadow this eyeshadow is from my profusion palette and I'm just doing like regular beauty eye on this side as you can tell the left side of my eye is going to be the pumpkin side with the red contact and the right side is going to be the beauty side like I said. So after I did the eyeshadow I made sure to go ahead and blend that in all the way first and then I went ahead and did some black eyeliner on my waterline and some black liquid liner on the top of my eyeshadow. I gave myself a slight little wing and afterwards I did my brows with just my regular brown brow brush and blended that out. Then I did some mascara on the bottom lashes, not on the top because I am adding a giant lash on the top later on. I didn't add it because it is going to be hard to maneuver with while I do the face paint. Next I went ahead and masked out my brow with a uh, glue stick and then went ahead and added some setting powder on top. Once I cleared up the setting powder, I grabbed my orange face paint. It is actually a lot brighter in person, so definitely go ahead and take a look at the photos on Instagram once you're done watching this video so you can see the actual color. And then I went ahead and grabbed my black eye, um, my black eyeliner again and added this zigzag line on my neck to make it look like the orange pumpkin is actually a mask. So I just went ahead and did the simple lining for that so I could continue doing the orange face paint. I did the face paint all over and it did take me a couple um, dabs. I did use Myron, I believe is how you pronounce Myron face paint for the first time. I normally use Snazaroo. But the Myron actually went on with less coats than the Snazaroo. I went ahead and added the coats on top of my masked out brow once I made sure that was completely dry and made sure I added it all over my neck and anywhere that was not in that beauty area. Afterwards, I went ahead and just made sure to add it on my lips and just continued the process. I did need to get a brush afterwards so I can go ahead and add it in the little corners and spiked edges as you can see. So just wet your little your brush a little bit, not a lot, a little water goes a long way and start adding it all over. By the way, the reason you see me talking is because I did this cosplay makeup transformation on stream. So I did stream this on my Wednesday Twitch stream. I do cosplay transformations sometimes on my Twitch stream. So don't forget to go ahead and check out the link that's in the description below. I stream every Wednesday and Friday if you guys want to stop by and talk cosplay or just come and chat. Alright, so like I said, this process does take a while. Just make sure that you dab everywhere that you're going to want. After I finished that, I grabbed my liquid liner again, and on every little spike of the mask that I drew at the bottom, I started kind of making these branch look um, things and then afterwards I grabbed my black eyeshadow and a brush and started blending right on that line that I drew. I started with a thick amount of black eyeshadow and then I went ahead and started to shade it very well and blend it out. So just start by making the line and making sure that it is right against that black liner line that you made. Once you did that, now start blending out up. You don't even have to add much eyeshadow, you're just using the eyeshadow that you have on your skin already. And start blending it up to kind of give it a misty type look. Afterwards, I grabbed another gel liner, but this one is more liquidy, and I went ahead and just pretty much defined the line on my eye and kind of gave myself a little bit more branch look going into the beauty area and a little bit outside. 
I then grabbed the same brush that I used for the black eyeshadow before and applied some of that black eyeshadow on the line of my eye in the orange section. I started out with a thick line as well and then I started blending it out just like I did on my neck slash chest. <laughs> Once I blended that out, I went ahead and grabbed my black liquid liner again, and then I went ahead and did my eye. I kind of gave my eye a pumpkin eye, like you would carve, and I then added black eyeshadow in there. It does take quite a bit. You're going to have to go ahead and dabble in pieces. Be very careful because this is the area that has your masked out eyebrow. You want to make sure to do the strokes in the proper way so you're not stroking off that glue or just ripping off the the brow that you worked so hard to cover so just make sure to dabble all the way around if you do need to grab a smaller brush for the little spikes definitely do so which I do later on to go ahead and make sure I give it more defined and make sure I fill it up all the way I did grab my gel liquid liner one more time to go ahead and give it a thicker line to make it more defined as well I went back in with the black eyeshadow afterwards and just continued to spread out the eyeshadow I had as well as added some eyeshadow myself. Make sure to blow the brush to uh, not have any excess fall on the face paint. This is where I came in with a really thin brush and did the little spiked areas and further just smoothed out that edge so it looked very flat. You could use black um, face paint but you do have the possibility that it will mix with the orange face paint so that's why I did black eyeshadow. Next I grabbed my liquid liner and started drawing the jack-o-lantern mouth. I decided to go with a zigzag jagged um, mouth but in a way a smiling zigzag jagged mouth. This is where your creative freedom comes in. You can be as creative as you want with this and go zigzag, go sad face, like do whatever feels right for you. Same thing with the little um, branches that I did on my neck, on my eye, all of that is just creative freedom. Afterwards, once I had the line set, I went in with black eyeshadow again and I grabbed my brush, the really thin brush I was using because there is a lot of spikes in here and I just made sure to blend out the entire mouth area. So there is gonna be a lot of blending this is going to take a lot of patience and the best eyeshadow that I noticed for this was my Profusion Black Eyeshadow. The Profusion Black Eyeshadow, as long as you make sure to, you know, not grab too much product, it does not dabble below and it will not stain like below the orange. It normally ended up staying in the areas that I wanted it to. Um, so like I said, grab a little bit of product, blow on the brush and make sure that no product is going to be falling off and then just make sure to spread that product that you have all the way in. And that's how you will get this super dark defined look. So I went ahead and added it all the way around, even a little bit on my lips. Um, even though it is a little bit harder to keep eyeshadow on your lips, I pretty much did it more like a lip liner. So I did continue the same process on the other side. Um, just make sure you, like I said, blend, blend, blend. And for the middle of the lip, I do end up using a Everlasting, Kat Von D Everlasting liquid lipstick, the black. Um, I was skeptical about this though because I wasn't sure if the black was going to be the same color as the black eyeliner, I mean the black eyeshadow, but it actually worked perfectly. So if you want to go ahead and try that, definitely do. Just be aware that the blacks might not look completely different. I do recommend using eyeshadow instead of liquid liner, liquid lipstick on your face when it comes to making this mouth. I have seen other people do things like this but and they end up using black liquid lipstick and it could potentially stain just like liquid lipstick sometimes does stain your lips. So just be aware eyeshadow was the best way to go when it came to this. 
so sorry this does take a while and I did do this on stream this look actually took me three hours to do which is why this video is a little bit longer so I do apologize of the length I tried speeding it up for you guys but if I cut it and speed it up too much it would be hard for me to explain everything for y'all so here's where it comes into the part where I was talking about I was making it more of like a liquid um, more like a, a lip liner. Now I'm coming in with my liquid lipstick and I'm applying that making sure it dries and I'm actually applying eyeshadow on top to make sure it continues with that black consistency that we had. Next I went ahead and grabbed my black brush that I was using before with the black eyeshadow and started drawing lines up my neck and then I grabbed the thicker brush that I was using for the black eyeshadow and started adding defined lines, thicker lines of eyeshadow to give me the pumpkin lines on my neck. But at the same time, it gives me that clownish collar that clowns have. Which kind of made it cool because it made it look like a mask even more. Next, I went ahead and grabbed the little thin brush again and did lines on my face with that same black eyeshadow as before. And these lines, I kind of tried to connect them to my neck, but not all of them had to connect. I then grabbed the thicker brush and added a little bit thicker strokes onto that to give it more of a blended look. And once I finished blending that, I grabbed my liquid liner and made myself a nose. So I just drew out the nose and then added black eyeshadow once again to the nose to give me kind of a skeleton style nose. But it's also kind of a pumpkin style nose. So I wanted to make sure to continue that jack-o'-lantern style look. Once I, I blended that eyeshadow, I was pretty much done and just had to add some quick highlights with a highlighter. I added highlights with a highlighter that was kind of an orangey tint and then I didn't add too many, just a few. And just adding my quick little areas of branches with a black um, liner and lastly my black eyelash the big eyelash that I was talking about before I added some of my duo glue eyelash glue and applied it onto my eye then I added some mascara on the bottom lashes and the top to glue the eyelash together then I added my wig that I purchased on Amazon and this is a really cute orange wig that I just was like this is going to be perfect for this look. I added this top hat which is from the Renaissance Fair so I won't be able to put in the description below exactly and these goggles are also from the Renaissance Fair and there is my final look. I hope you guys like and subscribe and I will see y'all next time. Bye everyone!